I sing the firmaments in permanence. We dug defences, pled with gods for rain, filled our home with bitter fruit and our heart with strange ideas, shopped online for deals, traded masks and precious metals, love stories, glories, farces, fictions, sorrows. Our words so sweet and brittle in our mouth, our tongue as silver as a flute, though often song produced no sound. Armani, Kelvin Klein, Versace, Zoom and Zoom, polystyrene, diazepam, formaldehyde. We cannot tell you how such things began, nor where they go, nor how their myth is sealed, nor how the double face should see, a blindness of a world above, and one more for the world below. I think the broad isotropic rivers across which traders of and in masks row, in which to drown my blindness and my verse and through eye holes watch the arid tipo strum towards me, one hand pushed deep into eddies of the dark and nameless rivers flow, catching at such polystyrene bijou versions of what was once known as snow, the other raised in the kind of wave that does not portend friendliness so much as desire to pass unmolested through what walls are here that once were the porous borders of ghost ships on a mine's enchanted latch through space and time and factory outlet sails the flimsy door of money's paper church flaps amid the wind that never fails to jolt us from our sleep and show us where the endless day has shed its finite coil and left its echoes clinging to the air a song or just a whisper of despair and yet no matter who we've been or how we've lived we always strove to understand the way to peace beyond the crowded show the seeding place of our ancestral land Soon enough, we had to take the ship that takes us to an ocean without whales. We launch our lifeboat into the flimsy waves and watch behind us as the ship's light fails. The drunken lifeboat lands us roughly where it's open season for the men of soil. They think if they drill deep, they will find oil. We tell them it's too late and to prepare themselves for times in which it will be winds that will mill the world into motion. They laugh and say, you came across the ocean to show us that you're out of your minds. There is a lamp within that brings no warmth. I try to speak, but words are lost in wind that winds a world into a bursting spring. A shipmate shows me where the former flies, snow-breasted on these slow, storm-bidden times. She presses light into my darkest mind, yet still I cannot see what I should find. One layer of blindness covers another. Man, politician, scourge, destroyer. We'll surely need more than a new machine to tell the summer from the winter, or freedom from the salty water's sigh. I cough, deny, consume, and contradict. The sailors with their crimson ember eyes have suffered too. Their mocking laughter hides the soft indifference of withdrawing tides.
within an inch of your life, within a corporate context, within which portions of the map, within limits imposed by commercial confidentiality, within the plasma moon, within the window, within the first 10 days, within and across scenario comparisons and within four or five miles from what cave he sealed within the alloy housing, within a contemporary space, within the target area, within the tree structured network topology, or within the region, within your local network, within the massive spacecraft, options within the app circle, within circle, within the outlight areas, within the film industry, within the folds of his dark suit, within the eastern chamber, within a small time interval, within the next 14 days, within an open face, within the vehicle, within such message elements, into two processing channels, within the visual system, within a couple of inches of the ground, the teat, within the mouth, mobility objects within the virtual environment, within the softly wasted, one-shouldered shifts. Today, we walk within the grounds of the poem. Within the grounds of a poem, within the borderlands of the known and the unknown, within this incomprehension, within this what, within this box, within this land behind and beyond, within every atom and particle of stardust hanging in the breeze, within you and within me, within us, within we, within everything that refuses language, within the machines bleeping obscenities, the race from here to there, the cartoons of our passions, the misread interventions, within Goliath searching for their David, Medusa's yearning for their Perseus, Cyrus calling for their revolution, walls wailing for their demolition, dollars begging for their Jesus, within this what and how and where. Outside the grounds of a poem, the texts are overgrown and seized with necessity. The borderlands of wheat have turned to rust. Deer shelter under the John Deere. Outside the machines, bleeping greetings, cartoons of passions, mirrored interventions. Two drops caught in the rusted rotor blades of an abandoned machine, dreaming momentarily before descending into underworlds of water systems. Visible beneath our feet, omnipresent, life-giving, godlike over centuries or perhaps just a few minutes. They cut passions down to size, carve whole museums out of fossilized experience, quarry new worlds in the dust of the old. What separates us from water are the faculties of appreciation. Or is water also conscious as it drives down the arteries of time, breathing its cold breath into everything? Thank you. 